Hey guys, this is Kingpin PKR three one six back with another video. This time I just did Batman six oh eight to six seventy two. Now this is a Detective Comics run I have of seven eighty five through I'm not sure. It's like it's gotta be sixty issues, so I'm not sure. But uh here's Batman Detective Comics seven eighty five. They didn't come in with the glossy pages yet. They don't come in for about 20 issues with these. They, they started making the glossy pages for Batman before Detective Comics. 686. Uh, I mean, 786. This is 787. This one's got the Mad Hatter in it. It says through the looking glass on it. 788. These are really thick issues. I actually needed the, the Silver Age bags to put these issues in them. And they have like a second little story in there. See where it says like plus the tailor. In the bottom right hand corner. The, these are really thick issues. Uh, you're definitely getting your money's worth at the time. When was this? This is like 2004. They were charging 275 for these. But these, these are really thick. These are Silver Age bags I had to use on these. Because the current bags made it too tight and I don't like stuffing the book in there. So if it's not going to slide in nice, I use the Silver Age bags. I usually do that for annuals or one shots that are a little thicker. 789. 790. 791. There's 792. There's Mr. Freeze. Can't get you out of my head. 793. There's Tarantula. 794. 795. 796. I guess I, I forget her name. I think her name was Stephanie. I, I can't think of her name. She ends up dying in War Games, I believe. I think the Black Mask kills her. And then in the current, in the future issues of this, Batman has guilt over that. Ever letting her become Robin. Uh, 797. Seven ninety eight. Seven ninety nine, and here's number eight hundred, a brave new Gotham special extra size eight hundredth issue. Seems like these are all extra sized. Is eight oh one, Eight oh two, eight oh three. That one has the penguin in it. Eight oh four. These are really cool old style issues. I, I like these a lot. I like the covers. It's it's not flashy or anything, but I definitely think it it depicts an era of Batman. Eight oh five. 806, this City of Crime story is pretty good. It has Scarface in it. 807. There he is. 808. And 809. Is, there's Stephanie. If I'm not mistaken, was it... I think it was Tim Drake's girlfriend, the third Robin. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't read these in a while. There's issue 810. That's a pretty cool cover. 811. 
There's 812, City of Crime. This is a really long uh, story arc. The City of Crime story arc. 813. Eight fourteen, eight fifteen, eight sixteen. Looks like Batman is about to stab somebody with a knife. That obviously can't be correct, but it's a pretty cool cover. <laughs> It'd be funny if Batman stabbed that guy with a knife. Eight seventeen. This is year one later. If you remember in my last video, the, the Batman run of 608 through 672, somewhere in here. This is other parts of that, I guess. 818. Here's 818. Eight nineteen. Eight twenty, eight twenty one. That's a pretty cool cover. Here's eight twenty two, here's eight twenty three. I like the black and white covers. Paul Dini is writing the stories on this. He always writes good Batman stories. A few years ago in the Batman animated series. He he wrote the story, and I think it won an award. Uh, I'm pretty sure he wrote Heart of Ice, the Mr. Freeze, when he's looking for his uh, for his wife when they come down and and they shut down his. I guess he's funded by the company to make uh, weapons or just do work for them and they're keeping his wife alive and they come out and shut the plant and kill his wife and it's a pretty good story. I forget which season it's from but it's in Batman the Animated Series. Eight twenty four eight twenty five Eight twenty six. That's a cool cover with Joker riding around in his car with his, uh, with Robin tied up with a gun to his head. Eight twenty six. Pretty sure by now Robin's got to be sick of getting taken by the Joker and beaten. Eight twenty seven. Eight twenty eight. There's 829. 830. This is a cool cover. Any cover with Harley Quinn is really good. Last night on Friday Night Roundtable, they were talking about if they liked uh, this costume better than. Like her in the the sexy costume, the the new fifty two costume. I like this costume better. I think this is a, a really good cover. Eight thirty two. He is eight thirty three. He is eight thirty four. And last, 835. Uh, I have scattered issues in between here, so I, I didn't want to make a video of those when I get a more complete run. I have the, I'm pretty sure I have the whole Grant Morrison, you know, the, um, the 7, the 870 to 882, the, you know, the, the final run, but I'll, when I get more, you know, complete, I'll make another video. I want to thank everybody for watching the videos. I want to thank our Daddy 95 Mr. Fifth of Smash. I want to thank uh, some of my subscribers, Carlos Infante. Mm, who else? I should have wrote this down first, I guess. When I make another video, I'll thank everybody more. But uh, 
everybody making kick-ass videos out there, and, and it made me want to make a video. I said, you know, I, I think I have some pretty good stuff. I'll, I'll start making videos of this, but uh, just uh, all these shows you guys put out. I love Wednesday Night Roundtable. I love the Friday show. Tonight, our daddy has a, has a Saturday show that's on, and, you know, I can't wait to watch that. So I just want to thank everybody out there in the comic book community. You guys are really cool. Uh, Houston Crusader, uh, Cursive Man, you you, re you guys really make kick-ass videos, and I, I enjoy them a lot, so keep them coming, guys. I'm going to be doing more videos, and uh, everybody have a nice weekend out there, and stay safe. Bye.